Hey guys, it's Brit, and you're gonna be getting a couple videos from me today, apparently. But I just wanted to say, do a very quick review of Sarah J. Mass, um, uh, Throne of Glass. I almost said, I almost said Game of Thrones. No, uh, this is not Game of Thrones. I, I listened to the audiobook, and if I hadn't listened to the audiobook, I really don't think that I would have finished this book, and if you like this book and this is your favorite book, that's that's fine, but I, you should know that I have a very particular taste in fantasy, and um, I have a pretty high standard when it comes to fantasy, and this just didn't live up to that standard for me. I gave this book one star. Um, it should be noted that I don't like love triangles, and that probably had a lot to do with me disliking this book because that was very heavily, in my opinion, the, the love triangle was very focused on whether it be directly or indirectly. Uh, Selena is supposedly a really, really strong female character, and since I only read the first book, um, maybe she gets better, but I really didn't see a very strong female assassin in this book. Um, but then again, big Game of Thrones fan, if you read or watch Game of Thrones, you know Arya Stark is, like, the best female assassin, and I think that also contributed to my dislike of this book because I kept unintentionally comparing Selena or Selena to Aya, and perhaps that was a bit unfair to me, fair of me, but that's just what I did, so yeah. Um, the good things about this book was the world was really interesting, and um, I'm sure that the world building gets better over the series, but uh, while the world was interesting, I didn't find it very believable, in my opinion. And... I just had a lot of problems with this book. Um, Selena, uh, on my previous video that I had made about this book, a lot of people were saying she didn't want to be an assassin, and that's true, and that's that's very, very fair. Uh, she was very much forced into her position, but she also was things weren't handled very well in this book in regards to all the like assassin parts and everything in my opinion I didn't really connect with the love interests or Selena uh <laughs> I can't even remember their names right now uh and one was Dorian, and he was the prince. Uh, the one thing that I will say was that Dorian's dad reminded me of an older, possibly Joffrey Baratheon from Game of Thrones. Um, and Sarah J. Mass knows how to write really unlikable characters. Um, uh, yeah, I give this book one star, and this was my pick for Are We Not Entertained, and I think it goes without saying that I probably will not be continuing with this se with this series. However, um, in Sarah J. Mass's defense, uh, I have not read A Court of Thorns and Mo- blah blah blah. I have not read A Court of Thorns and Roses, but Sam over at Sam's Nonsense 
did say that she felt that the writing did improve in uh, Court of Thorns and Roses. So I think that she is capable of writing a good story. I just don't think that Sarah J. Mass is an author for me. So anyway, guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.